All right, so welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to be studying the movements of the um, the one chord to the two chord, as well as some other common progressions. And of course, we're going to do these in every key, like we've done in um, in the other the other lessons. But um, the first one to start off with, and we went over this briefly in the last lesson, was um, you know the one to the two, which is like C to D minor, the straight there movement. Um, let me just brush up. We're, we'll start off brushing up on that real quick and then go on to some other little more difficult ones. Okay, so you're going to have, of course, um, in the key of C, C to D minor, or D minor 7, you want to give it a little bit better sound. Minor 7 always sounds better, or a 2 chord always sounds better as a minor when it's a minor 7. Okay, all right, the key of um, D flat. D flat to E, to E flat minor. Okay, in the key of D, D to E minor. You see, it has a very distinctive sound. Key of E flat, E flat to F minor. All right, key of E, E to F sharp minor. Key of F, F to G minor. Okay, key of G flat, G flat to A flat minor. All right, the key of G, G to A minor. Key of A flat. A flat to B flat minor, key of A, A to B minor, key of B flat, B flat to C minor, and finally the key of B to C sharp minor, or D flat minor. Alright, now of course I would recommend going through practicing these as well with the sevenths being added, um, if you know the sevenths. Um, Alright, so that's the straight there. Um, another really common movement that we see going to the two is um, actually doesn't start on the one chord, but actually starts on the four chord and goes to the two chord. All right, so uh, let's say we're playing in the key of C. Okay, and that's usually followed by the five chord back to the one. Okay, so this is kind of a compound progression, but basically just remember four to the two, and then the two usually goes to the five. Okay, so F to D minor. Okay, we're in the key of D flat, G flat to E flat minor, and then of course you'd go to the five chord, A flat, and then back to the one chord, D flat. All right, one more time. D flat, G flat, E flat minor, A flat, and then D flat to end it. You know, as we end on our first inversion, which is how we usually end a song on the one chord. Okay, let's go um, to the key of D, D, G, E minor seven. I'm gonna just do the seven because it sounds better. A back to the one. Okay, let's go to the key of E flat, E flat to A flat. F minor 7, B flat, back to the 1, E flat. Alright, let's go to E, start with an E to A, okay, F sharp minor, or F sharp minor 7, to B flat, or to B, I'm sorry, and then to E. Okay, so that one's E, A, F sharp minor, B, E. Okay, give F, B flat, G minor, C, to F. Okay, key of G flat, B, A flat minor, D flat, back to G flat. Okay, G, C, A minor, D, and the end on the G. Alright, A flat to D flat, B flat minor. E flat, and then on an A flat. Okay, A to D, B minor, E, back to your one to A. Okay, B flat, E flat, C minor, F, and then on your one. Okay, B goes to E. 
sharp minor, G flat, and then on a B. Okay, so that's basically, um, that's a very basic progression in that we're just using the one, the four, the five, your, your three main chords, but you're also throwing in the minor two. So that's all you're really doing there. Now, another really common progression we see going from the four to the two is this one. And in this one, we go, so you start off on the one, although we may not do that, you know, when we're explaining the song, but we're doing one, two for four beats, F. You see a little walk down to the one over three before you get to the two, okay? So it's, we'll do it like this, just to give it a little more time. So do um, on this one you do C F C over E D minor then G and then C. Okay. So basically what you're doing is you're going from your four to your three to your two um, back to your five and to your one. So the same thing we just did, but you're throwing in the three chord in between the four and the two, and that's something we do really commonly. Um, you know, um, Jesus is the answer. Um, Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. And then D minor. Jesus is the way. Jesus is. Anytime you see that progression where it goes F to C over E, you pretty much guarantee the next chord's going to be a D minor. It almost always goes 4, 3, 2. And then, of course, after the 2, you can pretty much guarantee it's going back to the 5. From the five, the five always goes to the one, um, you know, most of the time. So it's pretty easy. Of course, you want to listen to your ear. Remember, we're learning to recognize these voicings. We're learning to recognize, okay, you just went to the four, okay, went to the one over three, okay, went to the two. We're learning to recognize each one of these just like we learn to recognize the voice of somebody that we know. So um, that's basically how how this works is that you're starting to learn to recognize these voices of these numbers of, of the major scales. Um, so um, hopefully that's starting to make sense to you. So let's go ahead and practice that. Start off on your one, four, one over three, two, five, back to your one. Okay, we're gonna go to D flat. flat, D flat over F, E flat minor, A flat, which is your five, and end it on your one. Okay, D, G, D over F sharp, E minor, to A, and then on D. Okay, E flat, a flat, E flat over G, F minor, B flat, which is your five, because you're in the key of the E flat, and then on the E flat. Okay, E to A, F over, I'm sorry, E over G sharp, F sharp minor, to B. And then on your one, on E. Okay, F, B flat, F over A, G minor, C, and then on F. Okay, G flat, where you're one, go to B, your four, one over three, G flat over B flat, A flat minor, which is your two. Okay, so D flat, which is your five, and then on your one, which is G flat. Okay, G, C, G over B, A minor, D, your five, and then on G, your one. Okay, A flat, D flat, A flat over C. E flat minor, E flat, and 
end it on your one. A flat. Okay. Let's go to A. D. A over C sharp. B minor. E. <clears throat> and end it on an A. Okay. B flat. E flat. B flat over D, C minor, F, and then on B flat. Okay, B, E, B over D sharp, C sharp minor, your two, F sharp or G flat, which is your five, and then to B. Okay, so that's Another really common two progression that you want to know, you want to really, really be able to add to your repertoire, sounds very worshipful. Um, that's a very, very common one. Another one that we see a lot of is, and we're talking about the minor two as well here, this this isn't even dealing with the, the major two, although it will function, they'll function pretty much the same way, they're just, you're just going to learn how to hear the different sounds, so we'll have to give you some different progressions to practice that also. Um, another common movement with the two is is this right here. It's the one, the sharp one, to the minor two. Okay, now what we did in our right hand is we played an A chord, okay, an A major chord over C sharp, okay? So it's basically your sixth chord over your sharp one, okay, and that's very common. Okay, so what you're gonna do, one chord, six over your sharp one to your minor two. And that's usually followed by your five and then to your one. Okay, we're not going to follow it out to the five to the one for every single key, but just bear in mind that the two pretty much always is followed by the five chord. Okay, so and that's known as the circle of fourths, circle of fifths, whichever way you want to look at it. Um, you know, one to four, one to four, one to four. You know, circle of fourths basically goes C, F, B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, B, E, A, D, G, until you back to C. And you're basically moving up from one to four, one to four, one to four, one to four, on and on. Now the circle of fifths is just the circle of fourths backwards. So if people talk about these, don't get confused, but um, the circle of fifths would be like C to G to D to A, E, B, um, G flat, D flat, A flat, E flat, um, B flat, F, and then you're back to C. So you're basically going from one to five, one to five, um, over and over again. So um, that's basically how the circle of fourths, circle of fifths work. Circle of fourths, in my opinion, is more important to know, although some people refer to them, prefer to both of them um, equally, like they're the same thing. They're really not. But the circle of fourths is truly how mu music works. It's in a fourth movement. And that's why you see, like, for instance, here, the, the sixth chord basically going to the two chord. Two chord going to the five chord. Five chord going to the one chord. The one a lot of times will go to the four. Um, you're back to your two minor which goes to the five, which goes to the C, which ends it. So that's the circle of fourths is just, you know, and you can actually take going, all music, like I said, moves to the five chord because the five chord likes to move to the one chord. So um, you're eventually going to end up on most in most songs at the end of it on the five chord at the end of the chorus. And then after the five chord, it's going to go on to end on the one chord. So there's many different ways you can go to the five chord. For instance, two to five, but then the six likes to go to the two. So then you could do six, two, five, but then the three likes to go to the six, see the circle of fourths. Three, six, so then the six just goes to the two, the two to the five. And then you can go back as far as you want, you know. The seven likes to go to the three, because that's the third fourth, you know, that's the fourth apart. So seven, three, six, two, five, one. You know, or you could even go farther back than that. You can do, well, the sharp four likes to go to the seven, likes to go to the three, which likes to go to the six, to the two, to the five, to the one. So you can really be as ridiculous about it as you want. It goes. You know, you can go as far as you want with it. You could even go. Um, you can even go as far back as say, okay, well the sharp one likes to go to the sharp four, which likes to go to the you know, seven, three, six, two, five, one. So you can really like, you know, you can play almost every single note on the keyboard just trying to get back to the five chord, and a lot of people do this in black gospel, um, and we will probably won't get into anything that crazy in this course, because we're just trying to teach you 
how to um, get started on that road and how to learn the progressions that you're going to hear most of the time, not the weird, crazy progressions that you're going to hear, you know, every once in a blue moon. So, so to speak. Um, so let's go ahead and, and keep going over that one to the six to the sharp one to the minor two. Okay. Let's go to D flat. Oh, I'm sorry. D flat. B flat over D. E flat minor. Okay. D. B over D sharp to E minor. Okay. E flat. C over E. F minor. Okay. E. D flat over F. F sharp minor. Okay. F. D over F sharp. G minor. Okay. G flat. E flat over G. A flat minor. And you'll notice um, when I'm playing these songs in my left hand when I go up to this. You know, of course, we do the rolling bass line, G flat, D flat, G flat. You've probably seen me doing that or you already know how to do it. When I go up to this E flat over G, it's very important that I mirror in the left hand when my chord is in the right hand. So I'm not playing a G, D, G. I'm playing a G, E flat, G, because there's an E flat, G. I'm, I'm mirroring the notes in my right hand. The left hand is just an extension of what the right hand is doing. You're holding on the bass note, and then whatever you play up from there is basically whatever's in the right hand. Okay, so let's go to G and do it. E over G sharp to A minor. Okay, A flat. F over A. B flat minor. Okay, A. Um, G flat over B flat. B minor. Okay, B flat. G over B. C minor. Okay, B. A flat over C, and then C sharp minor. Very common progression. Um, you could also just play the straight six chord, but it sounds really, really plain. Most songs will not do that. You know, most songs will be like will play what I just played, which is you know the song "Worthy, Worthy." Um, So you're gonna, um, you'll hear that a lot in songs, in gospel songs. One, um, there's a lot of different songs that do that. I'm not gonna go over every single one of them that do, but um, but just pay attention. You're gonna hear that a lot, and that happens a lot with minor chords in general. In that you move, you walk up to them using that type of movement. In other words, like we're talking about the fourths, you know, for instance, sometimes we're going to the sixth chord and and they'll do a little walk up like E over G sharp to the minor six. Or for instance, in the key, if you're in the key of F, they'll do like an A over C sharp to the D minor, okay? They'll use basically that three over the note right before the minor chord to go to the six. Okay, so you'll see that, you'll hear this kind of movement a lot. Um, you even hear it, you know, going, and we'll, we'll cover this uh, more here in a minute after I'm done teaching you the minor two progressions. Um, you'll hear this a lot going, like in the major, the major two going to the five and ending on the one. Um, another really common progression we use on the two is, um, and you'll hear this a lot, is the minor three, flat minor three to the minor two. Now this is what we call a chromatic movement. Okay, and usually I like to throw in the seventh, so I'm gonna do that because it has a much better sound. So you did an E minor seven, E flat minor seven, D minor seven, G, and then C. Okay, I'll try. And um, that's that's movement you hear a lot, and basically it's a chromatic movement. 
So in this key it'd be F minor seven, E minor seven, E flat minor seven, A flat, D flat. Okay, let's do it in D. And I'm just gonna go straight to it here, make it a little simpler. So one, F sharp uh, minor seven, F minor seven, E minor seven, A, D. Okay, E flat. G minor 7, F sharp minor 7, F minor 7, B flat, E flat, okay? E, A flat minor 7, G minor 7, F sharp minor 7, um, B, and then E. Okay, F, A minor 7, A flat minor 7, G minor 7, C, and then F, okay? G flat, B flat minor 7, a minor 7, A flat minor 7, D flat, then back to G flat, um, G, B minor 7, B flat minor 7, A minor 7, D, G. So remember we're starting on our minor 3 and, and walking down to the minor 2, just using the note that's in between and the chord that's in between. Okay, A flat, C minor 7, B minor 7, B flat minor 7, E flat, a flat, okay, A, C sharp minor 7, C minor 7, B minor 7, E, A, okay, B flat, D minor 7, D flat minor 7, C flat, I'm sorry, C minor 7, F, and then B flat again, okay, B, E flat minor 7, D minor 7, um, C sharp minor 7, G flat, and then B. And you can pretty much use this anytime you come to the two chord. Um, yeah, um, you hear it in a lot of songs. Of course, I, use, I like to use the old song, Jesus, Jesus is the Answer, because it just it covers so many different... There's so many... You can pretty much play any progression in there that's found in music, it seems like. Uh, but like... Um, you can, kind of, you can kind of throw it in here. Jesus in this. You can kind of just throw it in there real quick. Pretty much anytime you're going to go to that two chord, you can kind of do that. Okay, so... That's another really common one for the minor two as well. Um, now, in regards to, we've probably shown you enough minor two stuff here. Um, one last one I do want to do that's just a real simple one. And I know we went over this last time, and I'm just going to cover, remind you briefly here, but it's one to the minor six, to the minor two, to the five, to the one. This is probably the most important progression to remember going from the one to the two. Um, other than this, just the straight there. The one, six, two, five, if you don't remember anything else from this lesson, remember that, uh, remember that progression, because that is probably the most important one um, to remember. Okay, practice it with the sevenths, if you know the minor sevenths. Practice it with the suspended twos if you know those. If you don't, don't worry about it. Just practice it with straight major and minor chords. Okay, so just a reminder about that. One, six, two, five, one. Always practice that. Learn it in every key. Like I said, I'm pretty confident we went over that in the last lesson, but just be sure to practice that in all your keys. It's a real important progression. Um, now, as far as the major two on the, uh, on the two chord, when we do majors many times, um, and most of the time, it's going to be a, a, like a 2-7, you know, a D7 or a D9, if you know that, um, or a D2. It's, it's, it's pretty much not going to be just a plain D chord. Usually, it's a 7th or a D9. Um, but you hear this, this sound a lot, and usually it's played in this, um, in this inversion. Um, but, you know, it can be played in a lot of different inversions. But we use it, um, you know, like Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace, how sweet. Okay, so we use it there in Amazing Grace, and another really common progression. Wretch like me. You know, you, you see that a lot. The six, and we 
follow, following the six, it goes instead of to the minor two, it goes to a major two. Now, this will be something that will take a little bit of time um, to learn how to do. It's not something that you're going to just see all the, you know see all the time. You know, it's going to be um, uh, you know something that you're also going to have a, a tough time hearing. Um, at first, you know, you're not going to have a, an easy time just hearing, oh, is that a minor two, is that a major two? But eventually, if you'll practice these exercises, practice them in every single key every day for about a week or so, you will get them down and you will, you will know them um, and know them well. So, okay, so in C, C to A minor, to, to D, to G, and back to C. Okay, D flat, did it three times, D flat minor. E flat, A flat, back to D flat. Okay, in the key of D, B minor, E seven. I'm just going to use the sevenths, assuming you know those. A seven, back to D. Key of E flat, C minor, F seven, B flat, back to E flat. Okay, key of E, C sharp minor. G flat, B, in the E. Okay, F, D minor, G7, C, in the on your F. Okay, G flat, E flat minor, A flat 7, or just A flat, and then D flat, in the on G flat. Okay, G, E minor, a, D, G. Okay, A flat, F minor, B flat, E flat, and then A flat. Okay, A, F sharp minor, B, E, and then on an A. Okay, A, uh, B flat, G minor, F and then on B flat. Okay, B, A flat minor, D flat, G flat, and then on B. Okay, so that's the one to the minor six, to the major two, usually with the seventh, to the five, and then to the one progression. Uh, remember that one, like I said, we use that in Amazing Grace. It's used in many, many other songs. Um, peace, peace, wonderful peace. Peace, peace. Wonderful peace coming down from the Father above. Another really common thing you hear in these kind of songs is it goes from the, that major two, Father above, goes to the minor two, and then to the five. Okay, you'll hear that a lot um, in, in playing as well. I'm coming down. So that's another really common one you'll hear a lot, and those are those are pretty much the progressions you're going to hear on the two chord. Um, there's not going to be a whole ton of other a slew of other ones that you're going to be hearing. Those are really your main ones there. Um, so you'll start trying to recognize these when you're when you're when you're playing out of the Apostolic Praise Chorus books. When you're playing just in general off chord sheets, start trying to recognize these movements and start saying, hey, wow, I recognize that. And see, then what happens instead of being glued to the chord sheet and having just to read off the chord sheet, you just have to um, say, oh, well, I know this progression, and then I remember this progression. So, and, and what happens is you start hearing it in your head, and then you don't have to worry about using the chord sheet anymore because you know the song. And I remember many times um, in choir practice, they give me a chord sheet, and I would learn to play off the chord sheet. And I would always have problems remembering that song, it seemed like, until I just sat down with the CD and played it. And the reason was, it really wasn't really in my head, it was just something that I visualized. And for some reason, the ear has a much better memory than, than the eye does, I guess. Um, so, it's, it's something that you want to learn how to do when you're learning new songs. Don't just try to get the chord sheet um, for it, but try to sit down and listen with it, and then double check yourself against the chord sheet. Now, if you're just playing for practice, or you just need to you need to know a song for church, you know, you know, the common chord. I'm talking about like new songs, like new stuff um, that comes out. But for common courses for church, you'll probably you'll probably be you'll probably be okay, probably be fine. So, anyways, hope this lesson has been a blessing to you, and God bless. We'll see you back here for your next one.